Hey guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Troy, I'm bold and I collect watches. And today's wristwatch check is the Casio MTP1370. Beautiful, beautiful, classy Casio. Usually known for their digitals, but when they do make an analog, they make a really, really nice analog watch. And anyway, this is what you're here for. An unboxing of my Festina. There's the reference, F204803, model F37. This one looks like it's been sat in the old Amazon Fulfillment Center for probably quite a while. It's pretty battered, so hopefully, hopefully it's okay inside. So we take this outer sleeve. Nice box, nice blue box printed on there for Festina. Festina's actually an old Swiss brand but under Spanish ownership now. So very big in Europe, very big in the high street, jewelry shops, online jewelry shops. There's my international certificate of guarantee. This is just an unboxing today and first impressions. There we go. So if you can speak Espanol, you'll know what that's saying. Because it's now actually a Spanish owned company. There we go, there's the English. Um, instructions part of the festina group with other watch brands so if we move that one out of the way there he is look at that batman on a budget don't know if we can pick that up what's this i think that's yeah let's remove the stickers shall we there we go see that sapphire crystal Happy with that. Should we see what else? Oh, here's the hang tag. There's the reference number again. The Festina. There's the recommended retail price of 219 Great British Pounds. Time of filming. This is on Amazon for 166 pounds and 29 pence. I actually got it, and I'm going to pop a picture here. For under 80 quid. Look at that. What I might do, guys, actually, what's this? just some plastic is whenever I see a cheap deal like that I might just do a screenshot and a quick 10 15 second video to say get on it quick because I want my viewers to be able to pick up watches like this sapphire crystal Swiss heritage probably not like I say at the end of my videos I'm an enthusiast not an expert but I'm guessing this is not made in Switzerland it has got a Japanese Miyota movement, but Sapphire Crystal, 100 meters water resistant, automatic with the Cyclops, with the gorgeous blue and, ba uh, blue and black bezel. It's a really interesting strap, really interesting. I'm going to take the rest of these stickers off and these tags, okay? And I should be back in a second. Taking all the sticky plastic off, taking all the hang tags off. First thing I will say, it feels very light. So I'm guessing these are hollow links. Push pin links. Oh, just not the camera, sorry. Some sort of attempt at a milled clasp, but we know it's a press clasp. But I do like that, the Festina. That's really nice. Sign buckle there, see? So everything is stamped really nice, but not over the top. Should we check the case back? See, I had an absolute bargain. So like I said, guys, let me know in the comments if I find a cheap deal like that and when I buy it, do you want me to just share the information straight away? Um, obviously, if there is a cheap watch to be buying, especially for my UK viewers, make sure you're subscribed. Then you'll be able to be notified straight away. We've got another sticker on the back here. Because, I mean, what's that? Under 80 quid. Recommended retail of 220. Amazon price for 166. That's less than half price, guys. I don't know about you, 
But if I can have a bargain, I'll have a bargain. Let's got some more stickers here. There's the Festina branding on the back again. So yeah, I would probably swap this bracelet out most definitely. Nice, short, compact lugs. The bezel, bezel action, not fantastic. I will have a full review to get to know this, this watch a little bit more, see what we think about it. I think it's gonna be more of a an eye pleaser. I don't think it's gonna be hugely, hugely up there when it comes to quality. But like, for example, we've got a signed crown, sapphire crystal, and that's better than the Seiko's in my collection. But in the hand, it doesn't feel anywhere near Seiko quality. Got what we got here. We got the high polished case. It's a really interesting bracelet, really, really interesting bracelet on there with the brushed links and these central links with these holes on the inside, these indentations, quite nice. We've got not a bad grip on the bezel, but that feels, mm, yeah, that doesn't feel great. The dial itself is pretty nice. The minute hand with that blue, really nice touch. We've got that arrow hand for the hour hand, really nice. The indices look okay. I will pop a loom shot just at the end of this video, so make sure you stay until the end. I like the splash of red for the automatic. Love the fact it's a sapphire. The Cyclops isn't for everybody. For me, it really doesn't do much for this watch, but then it doesn't really take away or be any huge detriment at all. I think it's quite fitting. I really do love the blue. The blue on this bezel is lovely. The Festina logo there in all its glory. What's the crown like? Screw, screw down crown. Nice action there. Is a Myota 8 series movement. So as you can see, no hacking. There's the hand wind, I can feel it. Just feel it biting. What's the date like? Nice smooth date. Check, do the time, there we go. And there's your date change at the midnight. Got the loom pip up there, which, hold on a second, hold on a second. Did that not line up? Should we spin it round again? Let's have a look. Nope, that's okay. 100 meters water resistant, sapphire crystal, sign crown, sign buckle, beautiful etched case back. There are things, you know, that tick a lot of boxes for a lot of people. For me though, definitely not a great looking, great looking bracelet, but it just feels tinny, feels hollow. We've got free micro adjusts. We're not going to set the world on fire with those, but hey, they're, they're all the same. But I just think, even at £166, this is not a bad watch. It just will look and fit so many outfits. Dress it up, dress it down. It's just it's just dressy and it's casual. It, it, it will do the job. £78.94 though, you can't knock that price. Up over £200. There is much better choices on the market. But I will get to wear this, size it, wear it, give you my honest feedback on it. I mean, I've got to be wearing it for a while. You'll, you'll notice on my channel there are a lot of unboxings because I, I do wear, oh, I've got quite a vast selection of watches and I do wear them all and I wear them quite a bit. After a great length of wear, I think I can give an honest review. As watches get sent into the channel from brands and retailers, 
later on down the line. And of course, I'm not going to have that luxury, but I will still try to give you my most honest opinion after having a good lengthy wear. But this, for the money, on Amazon currently at £166. It's an okay buy. If you're wanting that, that Batman vibe, obviously there are cheaper Batman watches on the market and there's a lot more expensive ones. Under £200, this isn't half bad, to be honest. Like I said, put comment below if you do want to be kept up to date with any fantastic prices. It won't be no highly edited video, probably a screenshot, probably my voice saying, look, get on now. These are in stock and hopefully you can you can share the joy with, with the bargains that I find online. Like I said, the channel is all about my journey as a collector, what I find, what I, what I hate, what I rate. And uh, this is somewhere in the middle. I can't wait, wait to wear it and size it, to be honest. Now we're hitting the sun here in, in, in the UK. My short sleeved shirt down the beach. I think that'll look cool. But anyway, guys, like I said, keep an eye out for the loom shot. I'll pop a wrist shot at the end as well once I've resized it. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, I'm an enthusiast, not an expert. And I'll see you in the next video. I got so carried away about talking about this watch, I actually forgot to give you some measurements. <laughs> Here we go. Hey guys, I've been back to work now for two weeks, and uh, hence why I'm a little bit slow on the uptake with the, uh, with the old uploads. I've got plenty coming in future to the channel. If you want to see what's coming on, make sure you're on my Instagram, the Bold Watch Collector. But anyway, here we are. We've got the case with the crown. Hey, we don't want to be what doing in inches now, do we? Let's check. There we go. 44 mil, including the crown. We've got just over 41 mil without. We have got a lug to lug of what we got here. That is forty-eight point eight, so just under forty-nine. Lug to lug. We got a thickness of twelve point three mil. So it's not thick. It's not a thick watch. It's not a big watch. It looks big when you're looking at it online. But it's not a big watch. I think these are 21. Let's have a look. Nope, we got 22. Yeah. 22. Nope. No, it is. Two. What are we? Yeah, 21 mil lugs so that's not a good that's not a good sign not many 21 mil straps in my collection but anyway guys like i said for, sorry i forgot to do the measurements you got your measurements now we'll just wait for the wrist shot and we'll also have our loom shot again thanks again for watching guys take care